Hey everyone, it's Trip from Maxwell Overland. Thanks for stopping by again and get ready for another cool episode. As you can see, we're just waking up. It's coffee time and then we'll get ready for some breakfast. I think today is going to be some serious biscuits and gravy at the camp. I can't wait for you guys to check out my camp oven. Check it out above. I do want to mention this guy. If you haven't used a Timbo Tub Scottle, you need to try him out. They are incredible at making all types of food. Pretty funny, first time biscuits and gravy and it came out pretty good. As you can see, we got everything packed up and it's trail time. There's the county road that we're on actually. When we started out, we thought it was gonna be a pretty easy trail. What we quickly noticed is it got really, really tight. And what we also noticed is that the rocks were pretty, pretty sharp. I know it's so hard to see on video. We can never show what it really looks like, but I think in some of the videos in Chase's Ranger, you'll see uh, his air freshener going crazy. But this is one of the downhills. And again, they're not super technical. I would say easy to moderate, but at the same time, I would definitely say the moderate part is the sharp rocks and everything jagged. There's the county road for this. It constantly changes. And the funny thing about it is, these trails constantly whip around, but you have to remember, they were made in 1879 to feed the mines with horseback uh, and supplies. So you can imagine getting through this stuff wasn't so easy back then. At this point, I do want to mention Rip and listen to the purr on this Rip supercharger. Is that a Ford Ranger? I will say this, most of our trail was covered in canopy and it was an absolutely amazing time. Most of the tight spots we couldn't film because we had to keep our hands and heads inside the windows without getting them taken off. So just understand it is tight. We were all actually pretty excited to see a mining sign in 2021. So again, I have to give a big shout out to Lifestyle Overland and Kevin. This trail was from them. And this is one of the most epic views in the Carrizozo, New Mexico area. This is from the Sally Mine. And it was totally insane to see this, an old operation in person, the actual mine shaft. Just insane. I do want to mention Speed Flake. KC250 let me out of these guys. And it's a great product. You 
can see the guys had some excitement in their hands once they saw that we had a little bit of cell service. I do want to mention that right after our little small piece of highway, we got on the backcountry highway called Quay Bradas, and it was an absolute epic little trip. Did not let down, and remember to pay attention to your fire warnings, people. Now that being said, this road did open up a little bit, so we had to see what we could do across the flats with the boosted JL. And again, she just doesn't disappoint at 425 horse and 375 foot pounds of torque. She'll move those 37s quite easily. Well, that's what we got for At this point, we've left the uh, Lincoln National Forest and we're now making our way to the Cibola West District National Forest. Uh, we're trying to get up to Mazano Peak and then after do a little bit of camping. Big campsite guys, the GPS is below. Check it out if you're in the area. <laughs> Look at Titus just chilling. I think all that co-pilot sleeping made Mike even more sleepy. is absolutely good. It'd be better if you let me bring my banjo. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me and the guys, campfires just seal the deal and really make you feel at home in the outdoors. Today was a success for us, you guys, and we appreciate you coming along and checking it out. Here's us in the last one. Uh, be sure to do me a favor and like and subscribe and share this video. And put the comments down below. And remember, everything I do in this video, I'll link them in the descriptions. All the gear will always be in the descriptions. Hey, have a good one.